Hello and welcome. My name is Pamela. I work for LEGO Education, and today I'm going to give you an overview of the We Do 2.0 core set. First things first, one box contains all the building elements needed for teams of two students working together. So let's go ahead and open up our set. Right on top, you'll find the element card and sorting tray. If you go ahead and flip the card around, You'll notice that this not only details every single element that is included in the core set, but also is designed to mirror the sorting tray compartments, acting as a visual guide to getting elements organized for the first time. This also provides a handy tool for keeping the bricks sorted in the future, which greatly helps with classroom management. The elements you see listed on the card that are not shown in a sorting compartment are larger and are to be stored under the sorting tray in the bottom of the bin. In the box, you will also find a sticker sheet with images of the core set bricks printed on them. These stickers are to be placed on the sides of the sorting tray to make searching for and putting away the bricks as quick and easy as possible. Then, of course, we have all the different elements along with the sensors, smart hub, and motor. We are going to swap this set out for one that has been sorted and talk through some of the features of the bricks that come in the set. Now, as you can see, We've got the sorting tray with the stickers in place and the bricks in their compartments. Our crafty designers were even choosy about which bricks go in the compartments. Let's go ahead and dig into the bricks found in each compartment, which are grouped to fit together from a function perspective. The first compartment we will look at houses medium-sized plates. You will also find a turntable and angle plates in here. Directly below, you will find all of the roof brick elements. If we go back up to the top of the tray, this compartment is where you will find all of the basic brick building components. Below our basic bricks is the collection of beams with holes. Here you will also find a special element, which is a beam with plate. Going back up to the top, here is a small compartment that is filled with angular blocks, tubes, and axle extenders, all of which are a different color for each different type of element. Directly across is a compartment housing a special collection of unique elements that gives life and personality to the models. Here you will find eyes, flowers, leaves, grass, antennas, and more. Moving below again, you have a small compartment that houses axle and beam connector pegs, as well as bushings. Beside that is a collection of round plates all in different colors for easy identification. Moving below again to the first long, skinny compartment, you will find all the axles in the set in a variety of lengths. The adjacent compartment houses all the plates that are only one stud wide. Going back up to the top, we have a place for our bricks with connection pegs, bricks with studs on the side, our studded beams with cross holes, and a series of bricks with ball joints and ball bearings. Just because we think these bricks are super cool, I want to show you a quick example of how the brick with ball bearing and ball with cross hole can be used to create Milo's swiveling neck, giving him loads of personality. Awesome! Below this compartment, you find a collection of elements that include round bricks, pulleys, narrow tires, rubber bands, and even snowboards. And last, but certainly not least, the final compartment houses the ever-important collection of gears that come in a variety of sizes and shapes, including rack and worm gears. Now that we have covered all the sorting tray components, let's go ahead and lift up the sorting tray and take a look at the larger components in the bottom of the bin. First of all, we have the smart hub, motor, tilt sensor, and motion sensor. These items enable our WeDo models to communicate with the software sense the world around them, and react to it. You will see that these components feature a new Power Functions plug system. The Smart Hub itself is the brains of the operation and features two input-output ports and a programmable light. Finally, rounding out the set, we have a variety of larger elements, including large tires and hubs, a bobbin and string, 
a chain element, plates, and finally, a brick separator, which saves not only your time, but also your fingernails. And there you have it, all 280 elements from the We Do 2.0 core set. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.